congratulations, Eva. Thank you. What, what is this, you know, obviously besides, not obviously, but besides the money, what, what does this symbolize for you, this contract with the 49ers? Uh, what do you mean? What does it symbolize to you? What does it mean to you uh, uh, beyond, you know, the obvious? Beyond, besides the money, um, I just love the game. Uh, I love being out here. I love this team, uh, the coaching staff, and what we have here as an organization. The obviously an obvious question is: is it appears as if you didn't feel that way all the way through the off season. So, what changed? Uh, I mean, at the end of the day, this is a business. So, um, what changed was. The communication. Um, the more we communicated, the more we started to figure things out. Eva, one of the narratives this off season was that you were upset with how you were going to be used. Can uh, you uh, address that, whether that's correct or not? Uh, that is false. Um, there's a lot of things that came out that I want to speak on, but at the end of the day, I wasn't allowed to. So, um, I mean, you can turn on the tape or go back to the Cowboys game. It kind of shows what kind of player I am. Um, and also, I mean, you can go turn on the Pro Bowl tape and like what I said about being a wide back, I don't mind, you know what I'm saying, doing whatever it takes for this team to win. Did it in some ways almost amuse you as you saw the various stories coming out? And I mean, uh, what was said and what was... You, you kind of try to, you kind of try to avoid it, but when it's thrown in your face, you just like, yo, they just, at this point, they kind of making up stuff, but um, being who I am and you know what I'm saying? With the communication with the people that was close to me, keeping me level headed, it was it was a reason to entertain. Me. You know, you mentioned the communication being better. Was there a point when you know John and Kyle you know came to you or came out to see you or anything like that that you know got things kind of back on the right track? Uh, no, nah, not necessarily. Uh, coming to visit or anything, we just uh, started communicating better, and then at the end of the day, we figured things out. Is there anything you do want to clear up? Like, what what was the the reason that there was the Um, at the end of the day, like I said, it was a business, and uh, we, we figured it out, and we got everything done. Your Instagram activity was a hot topic of conversation. What were you trying to convey with that, and what do you think about how athletes are able to use social media nowadays to kind of... Say it again. What do you think about how athletes are able to use social media these days to kind of convey what they're feeling? Um, it, it, it can be taken both ways. Um, there's a lot of things came out. Uh, kind of relating to the the incident everybody blew up for us, the kids situation at my camp. And at the end of the day, um, it's just things like that that we use our platform to clear up and certain things you don't speak on, but at the end of the day, like you're human and you have feelings as well. So you're never wrong about how you feel. Yeah, was that why you took down all the 49ers pictures off your Instagram account? Cause you couldn't speak? Um, Kind of, uh, but at the end of the day, like I said, it's just a business. It's just what it is. I have a two part question for you. Why do you think the NFC West is so competitive? That's the first question. Uh, I think this is where all the dogs at, for real. I just think this is where the best ball is. And then also my second question, if everybody stays healthy in the NFC West, do you think one of the teams out here will be playing the football this coming season? Of course, that's the number one goal here, and that's what we, that's, that's the plan. Uh, every year we go out there, and as you can see, how we practice is how we trying to play, and there's just a physical ball game that we just want to continue to play. And just you know, you have a, a unique skill set, and the players used you last season in very unique ways. How much did you did you enjoy that part of it being you know what some people would call a unicorn? You know, there's only one of you out there. Oh, uh, I, I really did. Um, like I said, I'm a, I'm a team first player, so uh, I remember Kyle coming to me and was like, yo, Depot, you mind running the ball a little bit this week? I was like, well, you know me, at the end of the day, it's whatever it takes. You know, I'm pretty good with the ball in my hands, and he figured out ways to do it, and um, we just excelled, and week by week, it just got better. You said that Trent and, Trent and some other people, Michael Irvin, said that they you know, spoke with you throughout this process. How much did you bounce ideas off of that? What was maybe some of the best advice you got? Uh, Forrest Trent. Uh, kind of like my big brother. Um, he just told me to stay level-headed, everything's gonna work out. And uh, there's a time where I spent like a week with Trent, just chilling, just hanging around, just to keep my mind off a lot of things. And so that, that kind of helped me a lot. We saw that, that wide receiver market just absolutely blow up. And it was just one guy after another, after another. Was that a difficult time for you to see before the draft, after the draft? That gets even as late as last week. All these guys getting rewarded and signing extensions while you were still kind of in limbo a little bit. 
Uh, no, uh, I have really good people around me that kind of keep me level headed, and it was like your time is coming, so I, I was patient as you can be. Aside from Trent, were a lot of teammates in your ear? Uh, or at least checking in and how you were doing? Oh, yeah. Uh, Trey, of course. He was definitely calling here and yeah. there. I was like, yo, Debo, how you doing? I'm like, I'm good, bro. He's like, what's, what's going on? I was like, bro, we'll figure it out. Whatever we figure it out, we'll be back to work. Trent told us yesterday that, like, he reaffirmed to you that the relationship between you and Kyle was pretty special. Right. What, what, How special is that relationship, and how much did that help in, in getting something done? I think it all started for me at, with Kyle at the same role. Um, kind of getting a feel of who he was. and uh, Just... I mean, Kyle, I can't even explain our relationship. It's just crazy. Like, yeah, there's not a day I don't go in there and talk to him or whenever he's uh, in the off season in San Diego or at the beach house or whatever, he'll FaceTime me on the water. It's just that kind of relationship I have him outside. I mean, it's not necessarily about football. It's just about life. How would you characterize your relationship with Trey? Say it again. How would you characterize your relationship with Trey? Uh, it's getting better by day. You know, I wasn't able to spend a lot of time with him as I, as I wanted to, but um, – it's, it's, it's not hard to really, you know what I'm saying, be out there with Trey and he's, he's willing to learn and I'm willing to learn as well. And we just come together as one and figure it out. You a lot of reps today with you and him. Do you guys, did you feel kind of like the chemistry is already building? Uh, yeah, I mean, every time we step out there, we're just trying to get better as a group day by day. You know, what's this contract mean to you? I mean, you worked your whole life to sign that paper. What, what does it mean to you? Uh, it meant a lot. Um, it's, it, it just... Uh, it's a it's a feeling that I can't even explain to be honest with you. Uh, once I got the call from my agent, I just was lost of words, and you know what I'm saying it's just a blessing to be able to be in the position I'm in. Uh, it shows all the hard work and all the stuff that I do for this team, and you know I'm just happy to be here. You think being here for the mandatory mini camp was kind of a statement for both sides that okay, look, I'm here. You know, we we can work this out. Uh, I was coming. Reg- I was coming regardless. So I think that was a, that was the first step of everything of figuring everything out. Do you, do, you, do you regret requesting a trade? Say that again? Do you regret requesting a trade? Uh, do I regret requesting a trade? Uh, at the end of the day, this is a business in life. Uh, we came to a decision and we I'm here, so I'm happy to be here and this is what it is. Just as your first time, but going through the business aspect of this, what do you learn from this process that you take with you? You just got to be patient. Uh, be patient, communicate. Uh, everything is not going uh, happen as you wanted to at first, and it's it, it's it's like it was more, probably one of the stressful weeks that I've ever been a part of in my life. How, how did you handle how did you handle that stress? What did you do? I mean, I just I mean, working out, running, trying to keep my mind off things, talking to Trent, uh, and that's just you know uh, here and there talking to Cal. I'm sorry, this week was the most stressful. Yeah. Like once you realized it was it was heating up. Yeah. Just right. with a couple days with Trey, just what have you seen from him as QB one officially now? Um, he's getting smarter by day. He's, uh, I don't think he actually realized that we probably have, well, we do have the best defense in the league, and it's going to be hard to complete the ball. Nothing is going to be on time right now in practice because our D-line is amazing, but uh, we're figuring out ways to figure it out. Any inspiration behind that t-shirt? Huh? Any inspiration behind that t-shirt? Oh, it's my dog. You know, we're going to ride for all our players. Right? It ain't just B.A. I got, I got Trey, I got Kittle, I got John, Jerry, I got a lot of guys. <laughs> 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 Go ahead, Lindsay, last one. that goes, I was just keeping myself in the best shape possible to be able to go out here and practice whenever the time comes. And uh, as you see, like I was, uh, they're not just throwing me out there in the fire and get a million reps a day. It's kind of a build up. So I'm pretty comfortable where I'm at right now.